Um, well, I love the the uh, Christmas ornaments that has 2020 in the dumpster and on fire. So that uh, I think that kind of sums it up. It's, I think it's going to be a real year of sadness and, and loneliness. 2020 is going to be remembered as a trial. Hi, my name is Alex Rance, and I'm the creator of 2020 Unmasked. Thanks for watching. Like you, towards the end of 2020, I realized what a traumatic year it had been. I am also a storyteller, and I believe in the healing power of stories. So I set out to collect the stories of 2020, the good, the bad, the painful, and the enlightening. This is the result. These are real people, and these are their stories. I think it will be remembered as a year that changed everything and a year that is a year of disruption like any kind of other big revolutionary year um, where the way things were stopped <laughs> being the way things were and a new beginning was created. I also think it'll be remembered by some as a year, it's like, depends on who you are. Some will remember it as a year of tragedy. Some will remember it as a year of progress. Some will remember it as, you know, the year that changed everything, depending on what you were doing and, and how the year changed your life as an individual. That's what I think. Personally, it's a year for me that transformed the way that I was living and moving around and the way that everything happened in my life um, in many ways for the better. So that's been a strange, strange truth for me amongst a year of such tragedy all around me. The day the world fell apart, the year the world fell apart. Um, I think that Everything that happened, particularly in the early days of COVID and the, the pandemic, it was in, I'm not religious, but in a biblical sense, it was like the Bible says, you will see the world in a way which you do not recognize it. So it was like everybody was stripped away from these basic things that we all take for granted every day. And the world is now different, like a lot different. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm like, and when I ask that question, I think about like, well, from like which, like which nationality or which part of the world, like which part of the world's perspective or which part of society's perspective. Um, so like remembering, right? Like who gets to, like who holds the story of history and who gets to write that narrative? Um, those are the things that I think about when I, when I think about that question, like how will it be remembered? Well, it depends on who's telling the story. Uh, but I think overall, it's been um, a year of challenge and innovation. Um, I think like two ways. I, th I think um, for people who had the privilege of being able to work at home and were like, um, somewhat able to like see people i think um it'll be remembered as a year of like great transformation because you know you you know when you're i mean alone all most of the time you know you got to look into yourself you got to you know figure your stuff out a lot of people that i know have really made big transformations this year and uh and so have i and um so i think in that way it'll be I think it'll be remembered in that way, but it's also, I mean, what John Mulaney said on SNL, it's like the rich continue to get richer and the poor continue to languish. Um, and the, um, and I think that's, I think that's a big one. 
I think, I think that's mostly how the year will be remembered is just the year where corrupt, powerful people profited off of people's misery. Uh, but then also, I mean, we had, you know, the election result, which was sort of wonderful. So I, it's so it, like many years, it's a mixed bag, but I felt like everything was in a, I think it's the year, it's like everything was in a pressure cooker, you know? Um, well, I love the, the uh, Christmas ornaments that has 2020 in the dumpster and on fire. So that, uh, I think that kind of sums it up. It's uh, nothing that anyone could have imagined um, prior to this. It's uh, completely unique and it's hard for everybody and uh, everyone's struggling at different different uh, levels and I think it's just going to be something that we get through hopefully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Honestly I think it's going to depend a lot on who's doing the remembering and where they're from. From like my personal experience 2020 was a shit show. Um, and there was a lot of things that happened and a lot of missed opportunities that may have profound impacts on history moving forward. Um, you know, just like a lot of bad things seemed to have happened, um, whether that's statistically significant in amongst, you know, like what's the, you know, like what, what's the cosmic chances that all this crap could have happened at the same time? I don't know. I'm not a statistician. But like, you know, like I think like this year it seemed like, you know, a lot of bad things happened and, you know, how we reacted to them um, is what's going to define how the year is remembered later. Because some people will go, we had a great response to the COVID pandemic and we had a great response to this, that and the other thing. And America just didn't because it just doesn't give a shit. <clears throat> Oh, um, I think as a, as a turning point, um, I hope that it's, I hope that's my positive hope of how it's remembered. Um, a time when we realized that we could no longer keep going the way we've been going, that systems um, and safety nets have holes in them and it's not sustainable. And the pandemic just made that really, really visible. Um, on a like less serious note, you know, I got one of those snowflake ornaments for Christmas that has the F word all over it. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and I do think there's going to be some, uh, at least in the near future, like people are going to use 2020 as like a curse word, you know? Um, but my hope is that it actually teaches us something. Am I allowed to use swear words? Yeah. <laughs> Um, a fantastic pile of shit on top of a dumpster fire, uh, that should be nuked and buried so far deep into the earth that you have to pass every single layer of dinosaurs to like get to it. And by then you're pretty much at the magma. So with any luck, the magma will just burn all evidence of it up and we never have to think about it again. Mm. Um, well, I think that it's going to depend a lot on how much it impacted your life. Because it seems like there's a lot of people that comment that it barely has impacted them. They haven't changed anything. They haven't done anything differently. And then there's a lot of people who are severely impacted and I would put myself closer to the severely impacted. Um, what I'll remember about this is working from home. Um, I work for the state of Wisconsin unemployment office. So I've had a very unique experience through this. Um, our unemployment workload Basically, we saw a statistic recently that said that we got four years worth of work in three months. Wow. To, to put that into perspective, right? Mm -hmm. So um, 
for me, 2020 will be everything about work, very little about anything else, um, and how very odd it was and how very challenging it was. I think it's going to be a real year of sadness and, and loneliness. I think a lot of people have felt isolated. And I think we will remember what we couldn't do in 2020. So it will be a year of, of lacking, so to speak. 2020 is going to be remembered as a trial in many, many ways. Politically, absolutely, it's going to be a trial. Freedom-wise, liberty-wise, it's probably the biggest threat we've ever had coming straight from our own government. Um, everything was endangered. Freedom of speech was endangered. Freedom to congregate was endangered. Freedom to be black on the streets was more endangered than normal, which was pretty bad in the first place. Um, freedom to be who you are gender-wise always been under attack and even more so in the past year. But I think more people will probably have PTSD just from living through everything they saw on the news. I mean, every time you, every time you turned on the news, it was, what the hell is going to go wrong now? And for many of us, many of us, it was, it was a question of, I can't believe that happened. How can anybody say something like that? How can anybody do something like that in a public forum? Because we've always at least had the pretense, okay, of playing by the rules, of conforming to even the barest of moral strictures and of social norms. That was all thrown away in the past couple of years. And 2020 was, I'm not even talking about the coronavirus yet. I think it might be remembered as the great divide, that whole year of pandemic and election and opinions has, has served to divide us some. I think it is a time when we all face trauma and we all are coming to terms with it in different ways. I think that it will be remembered just as a very um, stressful and traumatic time for all of us.